What's going on my friends? DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. If you're not new around here, then you know exactly what I'm getting ready to talk about. Behind me here is my completely battery powered ceremony system. And today I'm gonna set this up. We're gonna do a time lapse. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna walk you through every single component of my wireless ceremony system. The reason I'm doing this is you guys have asked a lot of questions about this setup how I made it, the components that are involved, and I figured it would probably be a good idea to do a standalone video on this, even though I do kind of do a walkthrough in each one of my gig logs. So I'm gonna come back here real quick. We're gonna do a time lapse. I'm gonna show you how quick I can set this thing up, and then I'm gonna walk you through all the components of the uh, ceremony system. Let's go. So first up we have an iPad. We got the Halo Bolt that does all the power. But we're gonna start the time lapse right now. So this is just an on stage. It's actually a keyboard stand that I got off of Amazon. I believe it was around $60. There's probably some better things that you could use for this. Um, maybe like an X stand or something like that, but this is something that I already had because I actually used to take this to gigs and put my full DJ system on top of it. So that's that. This is a Gator mic rack. I guess this actually isn't gonna be a time-lapse considering I'm talking to you guys. So you'll just have to bear with me and watch through. It's quick enough setup though that I don't think you guys will mind. Pop that cover off, pop the back cover off. Now I am still using the quarter wave antennas because I don't have to detach them. I can leave them hooked up, which I think is nice. And now this is just a little RCF bag that I have this, <clears throat> this is called an LTI blocks. This is what I attached the iPad to. And then I got the microphones in there as well. So in this bottom compartment here that you guys can't see right now, is where the mixer is. I'll show you guys in a second. So I'm not rushing this just because I want to show you guys just legitimately how quickly this can be set up. Now, as far as the speaker goes, you can put it on either side. This is the JBL Eon One Pro. I didn't love this speaker until I started hooking it up through an external mixer because the built-in mixer for the speaker, to be honest with you, is kind of trash. All right, now I'm gonna step back here. I've got just a Amazon Basics power strip that I plug into the Halo. We got power. Now I'm gonna take this here. My third channel in the mixer is auxiliary. Plug this into the iPad. Got power. Turn on our speaker. We got music. So I don't know how quick that was. I feel like that was pretty fast. Let's see how long I've been recording. So I've only been recording for five minutes. So I was obviously like, what, two minute setup. So I'm gonna grab the camera here off the tripod. So from the back side, guys, let me brighten it up for you here. The back side here, you just got that Amazon power strip. 
got two wireless mics. This is the Halo Bolt battery pack. I'll leave links in the description to all this stuff. This is just a Gator Frameworks full depth case. JBL Eon One Pro. This thing right here, guys, is huge, huge, huge. So this will make your iPad or computer sound so much better. The sound quality out of this little 16th inch jack thing is just not, not that great. This LTI blocks thing, it's laptop interface blocks, I guess. I don't know what it does, how it works. I'm not a sound engineer, but I can tell you it makes everything sound so much better. So on the back side here, we've got two Sennheiser G4 mics. In this pack, I've got a handheld here that I usually put on a, on a mic stand. And then I've also got a lav pack. So if they want handheld or lav, I got them set. Plus there's an empty input on my mixer here that if I wanted to, I could run a wired mic for readings or anything like that. But this is just an Allen & Heath Z6 mixer. I had this mixer already. I'm, I didn't use this because for any particular reason other than I already owned it. And I already talked about the stand here and this is just a MacBook or an uh, iPad Pro. So nothing crazy guys. Pretty inexpensive. Now I'll tell you the reason that I had to go with a full depth case is because of this drawer. I could not find a shorter depth drawer and I wanted the drawer to be able to pull out. I was hoping I had enough uh, clearance to leave these cables hooked up. So I do have to unhook these cables in order to push this through, but I can control all my audio from back here. Super simple setup, not bad at all. So that is it guys. That is my 100% battery powered ceremony system. You know. The huge selling point to this is the fact that I don't have to run an extension cord. I can do a ceremony in the middle of nowhere. I actually started running a system like this because I got booked for a ceremony in the middle of a 500 acre high fenced deer preserve. No way we're getting power out there. They didn't want to run a generator because of the noise and I had to figure out a way to run it all off battery. So I built out a similar system. I've obviously updated it since then. But that's how I got into the whole battery powered ceremony system and I'll never go back. Even if I had an outlet right next to me, I'm still going to just run everything battery powered because it's way more convenient. It's easy on me. I can tear it down really quick. I can set it up really quick and uh, it's honestly just, it's perfect. So um, I'll leave links in the description for just about every piece of this that I can find on Amazon. Um, some of it I already had, like I said, but any six channel mixer or bigger would work. I mean, you don't have to do a six channel. You could do a bigger one or even a smaller one. Um, that's just what I had and what I used. The Halo Bolt comes in super handy. If your car dies, you can jumpstart your car with it too. But all right guys, as always, if you're new around here, please subscribe, click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Peace.